One of the best things about blockchain is that there's so many different ways to monetize the skills. You can get a job or you can become a freelancer, but there's all these other ways to make money on the side because you have access to an open, permissionless financial ecosystem. And one of the biggest ways to do this is with flash loans. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the top ways to make money with flash loans that work right now in 2023. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. On this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about some of the top ways to make money with flash loans as a developer in the blockchain space. Now, there's many ways to do this. You can use your powers for good and you can also use them for evil. And this is one of the reasons that, you know, flash loans have kind of gotten a bad name from some people because they've been this topic uh, or the, the instrument to orchestrate massive DeFi exploits where people have lost millions, if not billions of dollars. And that's not, of course, what I'm going to focus on this video. You know, that's stealing money. It's unethical. It's bad for the industry. It's bad for everybody involved. And you're probably going to get caught if you try to do this. But there's lots of ethical, legitimate ways to do this. And I'm going to explain this video. And if you want to see an absolute set it and forget it way to make passive income flash loans, this is one of my favorite strategies. Then make sure you hold your spot for the flash loan masterclass this Thursday. Inside, I'm going to let you steal my passive income app, show you how to set it up, even if you're not an advanced developer. So make sure you hold your spot today. So just a quick recap in case you're not familiar, like what is a flash loan? How does it work? I assume you probably do since you clicked on this video, but I don't assume everybody knows everything. So I'll just clarify it. So this is where you can borrow, you know, up to millions of dollars in cryptocurrency on the blockchain basically for free as long as you pay it back in the same transaction. So you might say, why would you borrow money, pay it back instantly? Well, that's so that you can use it for these other use cases that I'm talking about in this video because that's how blockchain works. It processes one transaction at a time. And if you can borrow the money and instantly make money with it and then pay back the flash loan, then that's how you're able to accomplish that. And the beauty of this is there's no risk that you can lose the money that you're borrowing. So if you borrow millions of dollars, you can't accidentally you know, fumble and lose that money without any way to pay it back. All right, so the first way to make money with flash loans in 2023 is with arbitrage-based trading bots. So how do these work? Well, most people think of trading bots and they think of things that are trying to predict what the currency prices are going to do next. Basically, you know, say it's the Bitcoin trading at $30,000 and you think it's going to go to $31,000 or your bot does, you try to buy and then sell when it reaches the next price, maybe with leverage even. But the problem is if you predict wrong, you know, you can completely blow your account and you can lose all the money. Okay. So that's not how these bots work. They base they they focus on opportunities that exist in the marketplace right now, like arbitrage. Okay, so this is where you're buying cryptocurrency on one exchange and selling it on another exchange for a profit. So if you can buy a crypto for let's say one a hundred dollars and sell it for one hundred one dollars on a different exchange because these exchanges have fallen out of sync. That's how crypto works. It's very volatile. There's always these price discrepancies. You can take advantage of it and then you know make a profit for that. Now. You can do this on regular cryptocurrency exchanges like Binance and Coinbase, for example. But the problem is those exchanges, you know, are their own closed systems. And by the time you buy on one exchange, transfer the funds to the other one and try to sell, prices might move on you. But with blockchain based exchanges with smart contracts, they all exist in the same system. And so you have access to both exchanges in the real time. OK, now you could also use your own money to buy cryptocurrency on one exchange and sell on the other. But you have to have the capital to do this. Now, flash loans, when you put those into the equation, you can completely borrow the money. You don't have to have any capital to get started except to, you know, maybe deploy the contracts, pay the gas fees, and you can borrow how much money you need to trade in order to execute that transaction. And so that's one way to make money with flash loans. You need some smart contract to do this. You need a searcher bot that's going to look for the opportunities and then capitalize on them whenever they come up. Now, the downsides of this strategy is it can't be competitive. Okay, so you have to look for opportunities. And you kind of have to maintain those strategies as the opportunities change. So there's some active work involved with it. And it's not truly passive, okay? It's passive in the sense that you can make money while you sleep, but you still have to do some maintenance on this. Now, if you want to look at another strategy that's completely passive, that's what I'm going to talk about next. All right, so the next way to make passive income with flash loans is through yield farming, okay? So the beauty of this strategy is it is completely passive. It's set it and forget it. Once you put the money in, you don't have to do anything until you withdraw the money and claim the profits. And this is exactly what I'm gonna show you inside that masterclass this Thursday. So make sure you hold your spots linked down below. So how does it work with flash loans? Because you know most people can do yield farming if they just have a MetaMask wallet and can access the blockchain via a web browser. But what you can do as a developer is you can maximize your yield farming and increase your returns way beyond what normal users can do 
because you have access to the smart contracts and the blockchain without using the websites themselves. And it's totally legit. You know, you have permission to do this. It's not a big deal or anything like that. So let me show you how that works. So what you want to do is connect to a DeFi app that's a savings and lending market or a pool or something like that. Okay, I'm just gonna use Compound Finance as an example. So let's say that you wanted to, uh, you know, deposit cryptocurrency into it. Let's say Dai, for example, and you know, get 1.9% interest for depositing. But then you can borrow Dai on the other side at 3.8% interest. All right. Now these are the APYs for the crypto you're depositing, but you can also get bonus tokens in this case in Compound's own governance token that is issued by the application. Okay. So if you're depositing Dai, you're getting 1.9% in interest here, but you're also getting extra comp tokens on top of that. So your APY increases. Now, normal users can do this, but what they can't do is if you deposit Dai, you can't turn it and borrow Dai. You have to borrow some other cryptocurrency. Okay. So as a developer, what you can do is deposit Dai and then borrow Dai. And these interest rates, assuming that you borrow the correct amount, will essentially cancel each other out. You're not really getting any uh, APY in terms of the Dai, any significant APY, but you're getting extra comp tokens than you would for just depositing this and borrowing this. Now you keep doing that over in a loop, or you could introduce flash loans where basically you borrow and then you take out a flash loan to increase your exposure. And then you instantly turn around and excuse me, you deposit, increase your exposure with flash loans and then instantly turn around and borrow. Okay. And then pay the flash loan back. And now you have more money sitting in the protocol than you otherwise could. And you're getting rewarded for depositing and borrowing all in the same transaction. And you're boosting returns way beyond what other people can do. Now, there of course are some risks associated with this strategy. You have to have a little bit of your capital uh, exposed to this type of thing, but that's a way to create a truly passive income system that's set it and forget it, okay? I'll clearly explain all the risks and how you can do that into the masterclass this Thursday. All right, so the next way to make money with flash loans in 2023 is with DeFi liquidations, okay? So what are these? Well, basically, this is where you're closing out positions um, on like savings and lending apps that are powered by the blockchain where people's loans are essentially delinquent, okay? So let me explain how this works. So let's look at another savings and lending application. Let's just say Aave, for example. This works kind of like Compound Finance that I was showing you a minute ago, where you can you know, deposit cryptocurrency and then you can take out loans on the other side with maybe a different cryptocurrency, for example. And you might say, why would you want to do this? Why would you deposit cryptocurrency if you have to deposit more than you're borrowing? Well, people do it so they can like, you know, take out loans to do leverage trading. You know, they do it if they don't want to create a taxable event uh, with their crypto portfolio. There's lots of reasons why they might want to do it. OK, but essentially um, some of these people, you know, if they're the value of the collateral that they are depositing, you know, uh, starts to drop and, and it's worth more or close to more than what the protocol allows them to borrow then they're essentially have a delinquent loan, okay? Um, and therefore, it's open to liquidation. So basically, in the smart contract, there are some rules that say, well, if your collateral value drops, then you're not really supposed to be borrowing this money anymore. And, you know, we can process that as a liquidation to reclaim principal that, that you borrowed, okay? So anybody can do this. It's it's a smart contract that are out there, Um you know, you don't have to have like Aave itself do this. It's it's open and decentralized way where anybody can process this liquidation. They just have to read what's there. Now, you you might have some money, your own principal money required to do this in order to help facilitate that process. Or you can just use flash loans to borrow the funds that are needed to help repay back this loan and cancel out the debt that's on the platform. Now, there are some downsides to this strategy. Uh, well, I do view this as an ethical strategy. You know, it sucks for people who are having their loans canceled out. I don't particularly focus on this strategy myself because it sucks that there is somebody on the other side of the screen losing money in this case. That being said, they did violate the terms of the agreement. They might have been taking up too much risk, but from a completely rules-based standpoint, you know, they are in delinquent territory and, you know, the protocol has, has every right to, to recapture that position. All right. So those are some of the top three ways to make money with flash loans in 2023 that are, you know, a legitimate ethical way to make money. Okay. And again, there's lots of other things that you can do that are unethical with flash loans, like DeFi exploits, like I was talking about. These are obviously insanely lucrative, but you're stealing money in this case. Okay. There's other things that people do with flash loans, like wash trading, for an example. Okay. That's basically where uh, maybe people launch a coin and they 
do a trade and then just do the exact opposite of that trade all in the same transaction to basically fake uh, trading volume for a project to attract other investors in who may not otherwise you know enter into that investment uh, because they think it's dead and that there's no activity. So that's really kind of faking things. And you know, there's probably been some wash trading on some legitimate projects just to get things started. But most of the time, the wash trading ends up being a rug pull. Okay, so you definitely have to watch out for that. Again, I'm not telling you to do that in this video, but it's something to be aware of. Like if you're in the crypto space and you're looking at projects, it's always good to know about wash trading because you know you could get lured into a project that you know is is kind of sketchy. But that being said, there's lots of different ways to do that, and I've outlined the top three in this video. So if you want to see a completely set it and forget it way to make passive income with flash loans, like I talked about in point number two, then make sure you hold your spot for the flash loan masterclass this Thursday. You know, inside I'm going to show you how to set up this completely passive income flash loan application, even if you're not an advanced developer. Okay, so make sure you hold your spot down below before it's too late. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps the videos out. So more from the blockchain. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp Adversity.